Hey everyone, putting together my Reflow Master board. I'm calling it my prototype board. Finally got some 2.5 pitch screw terminals, which now fit in my headers. Unfortunately, I didn't really leave enough room everywhere to put them. It was a bit of a faux pas. So some of them work, some of them fit like here. And even this one kind of fits as a resistor there, but sits over the top. But obviously the buzzer one is bad, the fan one is sideways, and the switch one won't fit. So my plan is to actually for now mount them on the back. So I've got my iron ready. My switch has fallen off, as I've mentioned earlier, soldering wires makes them brittle. And I kept moving it around and it just came off. So I need to remove that. So I'm just going to do those now. Solder sucker time. Hack job everyone. You know the drill. Before I just wreck it all, let's get some wick, flood it, if I can, I'm going to flux it, and I'm going to wick it, I need thicker wick, this wick is terrible. Yay, here's the lid rolling through. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's do some terrible soldering. Okay. That's for our switch. Now we need one for the fan. I'll do for now. Okay, if I do the K-type one now, we'll be able to hopefully let it stand by itself. Okay, it's K-type. Now we need the relay. But I didn't have enough room for everything. Because, you know, that's what version 1's about. But for my purposes, that's fine. One more for the buzzer. Okay, so we have five connectors on the back. Let's take a closer look at that, shall we? Okay. Five connectors. Mostly straight. That one there is not so straight. That's okay. So now I can connect everything to the board and we can see if it works. Woohoo! The other thing that I didn't do because I didn't use a tall header here, of course, not only did I not leave enough room for the actual screw terminals, but I didn't leave enough height either, as you can see. So just as well, I'm going to put them on the back for this. And it also means that once it's in the case, it's accessible the back where people can access the wires and the wiring if they need to. Okay, let's wire it up and get it together. I've decided to cut up some ATX power supply cables that I had lying around. I'm going to use these for the fan and for the SSR connectors. So cut here, have these go into the screw terminal, have a plug that can go to the back of the case and then use the opposite side which I'll cut and I'll join onto the, the fan and the SSR so that way I can unplug and plug it back in again. Let's do some cutting. What I might do is just separate the two and although I haven't decided yet which one's going to be positive or negative I should probably at least colour code them so I know which ones are which. I can do that with some heat shrink. Lots of swollen colours. So what shall we use? Shall we... I don't even know what I need. What's thick enough? Will they fit through here? Just. Oh, tight. But that's perfect. Okay. That's good. 
Move those out of the way for now. Okay, let's strip the ends. So if I treat the outsides as positive and the insides as negative, I think that can work. Probably made this a little bit too long. And I probably don't have a small enough screwdriver. Let's see how this fits. Ooh, nice. Okay, so if I do the green one as the fan, and I don't actually know which one is positive and which one is negative, say that one is positive. So, positives on the outside. So I hope these are in far enough. I might cut their lengths a bit. So, fan, positive, which is the outside. That's nicer. Definitely prefer the look of that. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Just want to get some tightness on it. Okay, I'll tighten a bit more later. And the relay, which is on the other side of the board, which is around here, doesn't really matter which way that goes. I think it's some twisties happening here. Okay, so that's a not a lot of flexibility there. Oh well, again, you live and learn. It's a design thing, right? It's a prototype. So, the switch. I'm not overly happy with using the gauge of this wire on this switch. I guess for the moment it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to screw it in. Might have to, to solder the end of this to give it some thickness. Give it something to grip onto. I'm just doing a triple bend at the moment. Okay. Add some solder on these. I want them to be chunky. I need something to grip into. I need them to be small enough to actually fit though. So I don't want to be too silly. Okay, just enough to hold it together. Okay. okay that'll do. Hopefully it won't fall apart. Switch. Doesn't really matter which one's which. As long as it makes contact. Fingers crossed. Hope that's making contact. We can check that quite easily with USB power. Okay, so the K-type's going to go on there. I'll put the one in a moment, and there's the buzzer. Okay, I've got some DuPont cables. So I can plug the buzzer in one end. Positive. Okay. So I can do that for now. Let me cut these off. Once again, do a triple, triple fold. Best work, folks. It's my best work. Which way is positive? Like here, I can see the traces. Okay, good. So the only thing to plug in now is the K-type. Before we do that, we should put power in and see what happens. Before I plug the screen in, we'll just try it out. See if the switch works. I believe it's off right now. I turn it on. Okay, so the switch works. It's a good start. Turn it back off. Um, I'll leave that plugged in, I'll just grab the screen. Okay, hit the battery, turn it on. Wow, that's a good start. So technically I should be able to hear the buzzer. Okay, buzzer's not working. Interesting, let's try that the other way around. Just in case I got that wrong, it's possible. Nope, so we've got no buzzer. Could possibly be because it hasn't actually, oh, here we go. Well, that hasn't grabbed. Just unplug this. Let's try that negative again, shall we? Looks like it didn't go in. Let's see if I can tighten it. Ok, 
Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we have power. Please buzz at work. Yes. Sure you can hear that? We have buzzer. We have switch. So now we need to plug in the K-type. Get the power out. Okay, here's our K-type. Already prepped, ready to go. I've got on the back red and yellow. Let's make sure I actually put these into the right ones though. Okay, so power. Here we go. Upside down, power, battery. Let's see if we get any reading from the oven. Nine degrees. Wicked. We have everything working. So I'm going to be able to use this for my next reflow, even though I don't have a case for it yet. I have a case design, but I need to tweak it. Obviously, it wasn't big enough at the back to support this screw terminal, so I need to change that. But otherwise, that's everything ready to go. Rock and roll. We have a working board. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to all my new subs. Getting close to that 1,000 mark. Very exciting. Until next time, catch you later.